like the end is coming. Feet hurt and my nose is running. Friends and neighbors are dropping like flies. Better cover your face and sanitize. Everybody doing the best that they can. We all just waiting on the medicine man. <laughs> like a mother look. Now how about a dog gonna raise? He said, money tight. Boy, you know there ain't no chance. Ugly sucker. He said, won't you reconsider? My baby wants to go. Long 
Nice to be have my my close relative here right with me. Yeah. <laughs> this is a song where I uh, it's my my alter ego. It's a guy that hangs out in bars and drinks all the time. He's always just a little drunk, you know, and and he's a regular. He likes to go to the same bar all the time. And every, one, every now and then something different happens, you know, that shakes things up and people talk about it for years. And I named myself Junior in this song. <laughs> yeah, junior. It's my alter Junior, that's what they call me. I remember you 
walking out the door You had a red dress on And some high heel shoes You don't remember me Oh, but I remember you Well now maybe I'm just a number Will I ever be the same? And I remember you dancing on the floor. I remember you walking out the door. You had a red dress on. Lord, that's you don't remember me, but I remember you. You don't remember me, oh Lord, but I remember you. Hello everybody, this is Mark Johnson with Playing for Change. I want to thank you so much for joining us for our new music series, Live at Mark's Park, featuring amazing musicians from all over the world who have come here to help support our local community and to support the homeless youth in Los Angeles. And now to tell you more about our partnership with Safe Place for Youth, I'd like to introduce Allison Hurst. Hi, my name is Alison Hurst and I'm the founder and executive director at Safe Place for Youth. And Safe Place for Youth is a place where young people who are experiencing homelessness or at risk of homelessness can come and access services and resources needed for them to survive. Healing Arts, I wouldn't say it was created, I would say that we kind of stumbled upon it because out of necessity. You know, we didn't have many resources at the beginning, we had no very, very little funding. And what we did have were a bunch of amazing people from the community who were really talented and wanted to offer and be part of the solution. So they would show up to volunteer, but want to share that they were writers or poets or musicians. And they wanted to and realize that many of the young people we served were also talented artists and they wanted to share those resources with our young people who were showing up. My name is Adam and uh, most people know me as Meta333. When you're on the streets, you know, you don't know when you're about to have your next meal, take a shower or do any of these things, right? But the arts does two things, right? First, it helps you get your mind off of homelessness. You're present, you know? You're in the moment of making an art piece or writing down some lyrics or, you know, whatever modality you're doing, right? But the second thing is, it also gives you an opportunity to take that that you're passionate about and make you into someone who can take those passions that you have and turn them into a career. You know, if I didn't find this art program, I honestly don't know where I'd be today. Okay. That's all right. Could not 
find my way home Broke down and hungry I was too tired to moan Then I heard somebody calling my name Said ain't no need to be ashamed Well then I found out that the door I was trapped in my mind, prisoner of my own design, lost in a world, in a world of confusion. I was there by myself, could not find no help from no hell. I thought I'd call up the hotline But there was nobody there Then I heard somebody call my name Said ain't no need to be ashamed You know that I found out That the door Calling my name Said ain't no need To be ashamed When I found out That the door was always open Well, you know that I heard somebody calling my name. Ain't no need to be ashamed. Y'all know I found out that the door was always open. Know that I found out that the door. Thank y'all very much. It's a good neighborhood, man. where we started. It's a TV show. stars are out tonight and I've got nowhere to go my nowhere somewhere you really don't want to know and in the morning I'll be at the stoplight looking kind of strange asking for forgiveness and begging for some change begging for some change that'll turn my life around change that'll put my feet on the That'll make everything all right Everything all right mm -hmm. 
I don't like standing here with a bucket and a sign. And I haven't seen my family in a very long time. And I don't mean to make you feel guilty on top of all of your stress and strain. But like me, you're praying to the Lord above, begging for some change, begging for some change. That'll turn my life around. Chains that'll put your feet on the ground. Chains that'll make everything all right. I'm talking about a chain for the good of everyone. Chains for the love of everyone. Chains that'll make everything okay. Now don't act like you don't see me. Brother, I know. How about a little donation? I wanna help you too for a change To turn your life around Chains that'll put your feet on the ground Chains that'll make everything alright Everything alright Do-do-do-do-do Do-do-do-do-do I got no room a sofa and I've got no TV but I've got this little radio a kind stranger gave to me and I heard about the bloody schoolyards and the questions of who's the blame and I hear the children crying crying for some change oh we're begging for some change that'll turn their life around change that'll put their feet on the ground Chains that'll make everything all right. Change for the good of everyone. Change for the love of everyone. Change that'll make everything okay. Thank you.